In this video, I'll show you how to disable the zoom on hover on your product page on your WooCommerce store in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so here we are on our demo site and currently it's showing the zoom on hover effect, right? So I'm gonna show you how you can disable this using two different methods. So by the end of the video, your product image will look something like this, right? So as you can see, there isn't no zoom when we're hovering over this particular product. So I'm going to show you how to disable it using two different methods. So the first method will be using the WeSuite additional variation image plugin. Okay, I'll leave the link in the description below or you can head over to WeSuite.com. Go ahead and download the WeSuite additional variation images plugin. And then the second method will be using some custom code to try and achieve the same thing. Okay, so with that said, let's head over to our dashboard and let's get started. Assuming you've downloaded a WeSuite additional variation um, plugin, and the next step will be to go ahead and upload that plugin. So we'll go plugins, add new, go ahead and upload and install the plugin. Once you've done so, you'll see this WeSuite menu here. Go ahead and click activate. Once you've entered in your act, once you've entered in your license key, it will automatically redirect you to this add-on section. And then from here, we can just go ahead and toggle this additional variation images plugin to on. Okay, and with that said, we can move on to actually disabling the zoom on hover effect on our product page, okay? Okay, so typically we'll see a manage button here. In the event that it doesn't load, we can go ahead and refresh the page. Okay, and now we can see this manage button here. We can also see this additional variation images here, okay? So you can either click on this option here or just click manage. They both lead to the same page. Okay, so the next step is just to navigate to configuration. Okay, and when we scroll down, we can see this option here, which says enable image zoom, okay? So we can just toggle this to off. And now when we save changes, that will disable the zoom on hover effect, okay? So we can just navigate to our product page and we can refresh this page and just make sure that it has been disabled. Okay, so we'll refresh the page. Okay, and here we can see there's no zoom effect. Okay, so that's method one. Now we'll move on to method two using some custom coding. Okay, okay, so to get the code which we'll be using throughout this tutorial, I'll leave the link in the description below to the article which contains the code. Okay, okay, so we've got a few options in terms of adding the code to our site. So we can add it in our themes function PHP. Personally, I recommend if you're going to choose that method to add it in your child theme. Okay, so if you did want to add it in your themes function PHP, you can navigate to appearance and then theme file editor here. And then we'll just scroll down to where it says functions.php. Okay, and then from here, we can add our custom code. Okay, so another way in which you can add the code to your site is you can just install a code snippet plugin, okay? So there's several different um, code snippet plugin. They all pretty much do the same thing, so you can choose whichever one you want. Just navigate to plugins, add new, and then just search for code snippet, okay? So I've already got a code snippet plugin installed here, so I'm just going to add a new snippet. Okay, and I'll just copy over this code, which I've already tested. So we'll go ahead and add this code here and then we can just give it a name. It's just for internal purposes. Okay. So we can say, okay. And then we can just save and activate. Let's go ahead and refresh the page and just make sure our code is working as it should. So our code's working fine. Okay. So that's method two. And I didn't mention, but whenever you add any type of custom code to your site, I personally recommend just always backing up your site before you make any changes, just in case you break anything. Okay. And those are two easy options to disable the zoom on over effect in your WooCommerce store in just a few simple steps. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.